chapter 3 coordinate geometry part 1 so this chapter coordinate geometry you are going to study this year only okay. that is for you new chapter but very interesting chapter and very easy chapter okay listen carefully so if you want to locate your front house how will you locate it? How will you uh, find out the address of your front house? Suppose consider your front house is uh, in the Sudarshanagar uh, 5th street. We have so many street. Street 1, street 2, street 3, street 4, street 5. But your uh, front house is uh, in the 5th street. Okay. Is it enough for only one reference point? 50th street is enough? No. We need one more reference point. So what is the reference point? One more reference point. That is a door number. In the 50th street, which house it is located? That door number if you need. That is second reference. So here the first reference is street. Which street? 50th street. Then door number 70. Here in the 70, door number 70, in the 50th street. If we have two reference points only, easily we can find out the address of that your front house. Here. So in the coordinate geometry, you have you need for two reference points. Here. That is called that's why it is called a two dimension. Here two reference point when you have two dimension. Here two dimension here you have x coordinate and y coordinate. Here I will give one more example. You see we will see one more example. Exercise 3.1 first problem. How will you describe the position of table lamp on your study table to another person? You consider uh, this is the study table top. Here, top of the study table. Here you consider. Here you have the table lamp here. Here, table lamp is this point. Then how will you uh, uh, describe to another person? Here. So for that what you from the table lamp you draw perpendicular. Draw perpendicular. Here perpendicular to this edge. That is bottom edge of the top of the table. Then another this side perpendicular from the lamp you have to draw perpendicular okay to the left edge of the top of the table you name it a units means you will get rectangle so opposite sides are equal so this is also a units here you name it b units so opposites are equal b units okay so this length this length and this length. Two reference we get. We get two reference. A comma B. Okay. So A comma B is the table lamp position. So like this easily you can describe to another person. You see the position of the table lamp is at the distance of A units from the left edge of the table. Here and at a distance B units above the bottom edge of the top of the table. Here AX is the line bottom edge. AY is the line uh, left edge. Therefore, for AX perpendicular to AY. Always AX perpendicular to AY. That is uh, the position of the lamp can be described as A comma B. Here. So you need uh, two reference points. One is A. Another one is B. Here, if you draw from the lamp perpendicular line, then you will get the distance. Distance here, A and B. Distance you will get, that is position of the lamp. So next we are going to see Cartesian system. So you take uh, xx dash, x axis, y y dash, y axis. Here, two lines, number line, you know, number line, one number line you take uh, 
horizontally another number line you take vertically both if you how to make perpendicular okay perpendicular line means you will get a cartesian plane this is called cartesian plane or you can say xy plane okay in the x axis in the right side you take positive this is positive x axis in the left side you take negative negative x axis minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 okay then above positive y axis below negative y axis okay these two axis divide into four parts that is first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant fourth quadrant clear so this whole thing is called cartesian plane or you can say xy plane here you can say coordinate plane clear so both the axis intersecting point that is o is called origin that is 0 comma 0 this point is 0 comma 0 the horizontal line x x dash horizontal line x x dash is called x axis the vertical line y y dash is called y axis the point where x x dash and y y dash cross is called the origin okay denoted by o that is 0 comma 0 okay o x is positive x axis o y is Oy is also positive y axis. Clear? Then O x dash and O y dash are called negative direction of x axis and y axis respectively. Okay, the axis both axis divide the plane into four parts. You see, correctly four parts. That is one fourth part called quadrant. So this quadrant, first quadrant, always we name it as uh, from. And the clockwise direction. Okay, first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, fourth quadrant. Okay, the plane consists of axes and these quadrants are called Cartesian plane or xy plane or you can say coordinate plane. Even the axes, the x-axis and the y-axis are called coordinate axes. You can say what coordinate axes. Okay, so this is very very. important concept clear basic concept concept of this chapter so always you have to remember clear always you should remember because this year only we are going to study coordinate geometry clear next year also there are even plus 1 plus 2 also there this is a basic concept so thoroughly you have to study clear now you see the cartesian plane you take a uh, x axis y axis Here you take the point here, point A. Point A is from this point you draw perpendicular, perpendicular, meeting at the one. Here you draw correctly perpendicular, meeting at the three. So this point we can represent as one comma three. So A is one comma three. That is x coordinate. One is x coordinate. Three is y coordinate. Here, this distance, this distance in, on the x-axis, uh, this distance is called one unit. The y-axis, this distance is called three units. Okay, so this is also three units. This is three. This is one. Here, this is one. Okay, this distance three units. So this point we can represent as one comma three. Always you have to write the x-coordinate as This distance, y coordinate as this distance, this perpendicular distance you have to write always. Clear? So the first point, clear? The first, the point first coordinate represent as x coordinate. Second coordinate represent as y coordinate. Clear? You see here, the axes are called coordinate axes. A is one comma three in first quadrant. Lies in the first quadrant. The first quadrant always plus comma plus. Clear? Always both coordinates are positive here. Both coordinates are positive. Clear? Here one is called here one is called x coordinate. You see the one is the first two one is called always x coordinate. Okay, the x coordinate is also called axis of. You can say called axis of. We can call axis of. You have to remember. In one more questions, they will ask. Clear. And the three is called and 
it is called y coordinate the second number first number is s coordinate second number is y coordinate the y coordinate is also called ordinate ordinate other name now you see b b is same way b is minus 5 comma 5 you draw perpendicular from the x axis and the y axis you draw perpendicular clear from this point you draw perpendicular to x axis perpendicular to y axis means it will it will be in the third quadrant so both will be negative both coordinate will be negative clear so both the numbers negative means minus b comma minus minus 5 comma minus 5 minus 5 comma minus 5 lies in the third quadrant both coordinates are negative clear next c is <coughs> minus 3 comma 4 the first coordinate negative second coordinate that is y coordinate is positive means lies in the second quadrant always remember minus plus here then plus minus fourth quadrant b is a 3 comma minus 2 lies in the fourth quadrant here so you should know how to plot the points that is very important plotting the points very important here now we will see exercise 3.2 second problem you see this uh, diagram here diagram you have uh, what uh, the points here c b E, here G, L, B, like that you will get point is given in the diagram. So, the question is in the figure, write the following. The coordinate of B is coordinate means you have to write the point where the B is located here. Here B is there. Okay. You see, this B is you draw perpendicular. From this point, draw perpendicular to E axis, draw perpendicular to X axis means what you are reading. First, you have to write x axis where the point is minus 6, minus 6, comma 2, minus 6, comma 2. The coordinate of B is minus 6, comma 2. Okay. The coordinate of B is minus 6, comma 2. So, like this coordinate means both x coordinate, y coordinate you have to write. That is point where B is. Next, the point identified by minus 3 comma minus 5 where minus uh, 3 comma minus 5 minus 3 clear uh, x coordinate x x axis you see first point is uh, minus minus 3 that is the first reference point minus 5 that is x axis minus 3 then minus 5 this what e it is e the point identified by is what e here is e. understand now the coordinate of c is where is c here c is here the coordinate of c is you see first x is 5 then second reference that is minus or that is minus 5 draw perpendicular 5 minus 5 here draw perpendicular and c from this point draw perpendicular to x axis from this point draw perpendicular to Perpendicular to what? Y axis. Here, that is 5, comma. First, write x coordinate. X axis, which point? That point you write. Then, y, which y, uh, y axis, which point? Minus 5. That you have to write. Okay. The coordinate of C is 5, comma, minus 5. 5, comma, minus 5. <laughs> Next, the point identified by 2 comma minus 4, where is 2, 2 is here, minus 4, that is G, draw perpendicular and see, that is correctly G, the point is G, is G, then the abscess of B is, abscess of means what, X coordinate, B is that, here B, so X coordinate is, draw perpendicular to X, X coordinate is 6, this is axis of here x coordinate. This point you can write 6, 2, 6, 2. In which you have to take x coordinate. Axis of means x coordinate. Axis of means x coordinate you have to write. Only x coordinate you have to write. Okay. Yes. 6. 
is 6. Next is the ordinate of h is h is here. Ordinate of h is drop perpendicular. Ordinate means y axis. Y axis uh, here the point is minus 3. So is minus 3. Ordinate means y coordinate. Ordinate means y coordinate. Remember. Then the R coordinate of L is L is where here L is coordinate of L is how do you write this L? First x there is no x so zero. This is zero. Okay. See the coordinate of L is L L is on the y axis. L is on the y axis. On the y axis means the x coordinate will be zero. There is no x. Okay? X coordinate will be 0. X axis 0 is there. Okay? So the x coordinate will be 0. Then y coordinate will be 5. So L is 0, 5. L is 0, 5. Any point on the x axis means y coordinate will be 0. Suppose here point is there is 4, 0. Okay. Y coordinate will be 0. So you have to note this point. Any point on the x axis, on the x axis means y will be 0. Clear? Suppose the uh, point is here, means 4, 0. Any point on the y axis means x coordinate will be 0. This point is 0, 5. Clear? So, like this, uh, uh, same type of problems I will give as Homer. Clear? Do Homer for better practice. Okay.